let's do this let's do this nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is may 24th 2021 and we're doing a live stream open discussion but centered around mathematics drop in math tutoring session number 75 or thereabouts and uh, as the numbering uh, indicates we've done a few of these and it's basically uh, me making myself available for two to four hours a month a couple of live streams a month uh, two hour sessions every time to help people out uh, with high school mathematics if they need the help uh, sort of a drop in tutoring session i guess uh, that's the best description for it um, aside that from that uh, welcome to another live stream i hope you're enjoying yourself uh, i hope you're having a fantastic fantastic uh, today's monday it's 10 a.m my time uh, pacific west coast of canada time west coast of canada united states time and um, uh, i hope your week's gonna start off uh, with a bang uh, in a nice way okay uh, aside from that um, we'll wait for people to drop in um, if you want to know slick mick hey, chicho maths time maths time how are you doing <laughs> oh fun today is actually a holiday um in canada in bc anyway so um i sent out a message to my students saying there's a couple of students that didn't want to have a session because of the holiday so i sent a message to the rest of them i'm only going to have a session with a couple of more students and you guys morning let's learn let's learn let's talk about mathematics let's let's have a nice chill session and just focus on what's really important in the world which is our ability to analyze data understand what's going on uh, thank you very much for the follow crunch i caught that one <laughs> real mc mike how are you doing good morning chicho i hope you're having a fantastic long weekend looking forward to the math last year me too me too i'm very chill today actually fire exit hey chicho hi all hello hello crafter how are you doing hello hello 420 math for the win 420 math for the win <laughs> yesterday after the stream we did a stream on the patio yesterday just open discussion and after the stream uh uh, planted some of the seedlings and stuff like this and enjoyed the sun and whatnot um had the kitty cats outside and the kitty cats were loving the loving the sunshine and just chasing the bugs and stuff like this so it was a nice uh nice day yesterday and sort of following up with today being a holiday in uh, in canada and bc anyway so it's very very low energy day salutations chicho wingnut how are you doing I haven't seen you for a while wingnut i hope you're doing well gang while we wait for notifications to go out if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o what we're doing today is a core building block of my what my work is centered on which is basically layered on mathematics if you want to know what this work is about you can follow the work on patreon i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share and share alike for those of you that have been supporting this work on patreon i hope you're enjoying the content and thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are supporting this work on twitch thank you very much for the support gang king canada live pretty sure it's a holiday everywhere in canada except quebec also what up chicho and chad Aha, what up what up canada king canada live and so everywhere in canada is a holiday today except quebec they gotta be special man they gotta be special <laughs> and they are to a certain degree right uh so happy holidays to everyone in canada except quebec and i hope they're taking the time off too i know the markets are closed uh the stock markets because i check the numbers every every morning right so you see the numbers stuck from the far friday level right marco chicho what calculus book do you recommend uh to a soon to be first year student who has never done calculus um let me go let me go find it okay i've done a recommendation here uh, let me find it online 
if you do Chicho book recommendations, Chicho, Chicho book recommendations. Ba -da 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 -da. The first, and this is a recommendation, something that is, is, is it even going to, there it is. Nice, nice, nice. Boop. Here. This is a video I put out back in 2008, right? And this is part two, I believe. This is, no, this is part one. And I list the books in the description of the video. And it's Calculus and Analytic Geometry by Howard Anton. And here's the video. And uh, the reason I put this out is because since I started loading up math content and just videos in general and articles in general and stuff like this, people have always asked me, they, they always ask me, what books do you recommend? What books do you recommend? Especially math books, calculus books. Take a look at this video. In this video, I recommend five books. One of them is Calculus with Analytic Geometry by Howard Anton. Another one is Guru Lesherbach, An Eternal Golden Braid by Douglas Hofstetter. Uh, God's Equation by Amir D. Axel. The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. And Bone by Jeff Smith. Gotta throw a comic book in there. And again, this video is from 2008. Okay. Uh, it's Chicho with a beard. And here are the book recommendations I make in this video and there are uh, I've done other book recommendations as well okay Cheryl how are you doing hello hello I have one Milzy how are you doing fire exit Chicho quick question what do you think of blank 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 for learning math uh, you can't provide any links uh, fire exit only me and Moz can provide links uh, if you write down the name I might have a uh, feedback on it Cheryl Cheryl by the way Cheryl I start since you mentioned uh, a demon slayer you said the movie was fantastic I started I, I went back to the series and I watched a couple more episodes of the of the series uh, season one last night so good so good I want to finish that off so I can watch the movie uh, I don't want to watch the movie before I finish the series King Canada Quebec's long weekend is next weekend Saint Jean Baptiste Baptiste Day. Ah, okay, okay. Ronnie Chicho, how are you doing? Crafter, I really like Spevak, his calculus book. I don't know that one. I don't think I know it. MC Mike says uh, to Marco, I recommend Ian Stewart for calculus. Robert Adams has a good one too, but Ian Stewart is widely used and nice to follow along with. Cool, cool, cool. Ronnie, my college used Stuart Calculus book, and I like that. Awesome, awesome. I don't know if I've uh, I know those books. Maybe I do. I don't know. Thank you, Chicho, and chat. Much appreciated. Our pleasure. Our pleasure, Ronnie Chicho. How does one find his her true passion for career? Uh, you have to sample. You have to sample. Uh, if you feel like doing something or dabbling in in something, dabble in it. Don't put all your eggs in that basket before you really know what it's about but sample try things out it's the only way that's why kids if you watch kids they'll take anything and put it in their mouths <laughs> like really there's there's little little kids that eat poop all right they poop and they eat it because but why not <laughs> like what is this thing no not good put it away all right uh try different things out that's my recommendation you fail you learn you succeed you learn congrats uh, you got lucky on the first go fire exit damn sorry brilliant dot dot org was the link brilliant dot brilliant dot org I don't know brilliant dot org uh, I don't know it uh, fire exit if you link it up on our discord I'll take a look uh, later on after the stream uh, Ronnie sorry for such a broad question no Ronnie uh, not a don't no need to apologize like for me i got lucky sure i won't regret it okay demon slayer i won't regret it good 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 uh ronnie in, in regards it, it's a legitimate question right because our education system everybody that's gone through our education system knows that they 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 do a very poor job on 
feeding our passions if anything they suppress our passions right uh, human desire to learn they suppress it that's our what our centralized indoctrination centers do so one of the first things we should be asking ourselves when we get out of jail right is what do we want to do right what do we want to try right a legitimate question legitimate question right MC Mike if you're doing calculus 3 I could see if I can uh, share a link in discord if possible it's a textbook from textbook from UBC ah nice and has some great examples uh, when learning both multivariate and vector calculus oh I love oh okay I don't I actually went to uh, the first university I went to was UBC but I didn't like UBC very much so I dropped out and went to college and then went to a different university Ronnie I'm working in a corporate job and I feel like I'm miserable I went to college and grad school uh, for this and I feel like I need to find something else I'm 30 so I'm not getting any younger uh, 30 is pretty young still but yeah I, I feel you right uh, 30 you need to do a transition if you're stuck in a rut uh, good thing is I have no debt and have money saved up I'm just trying to find an alternative oh Ronnie you're way ahead of the game compared to most people right and here's the here's the thing you got an education in whatever it is you got an education in. just because the corporation you're working with is treating that system that uh, genre that you got an education in, in in such a horrendous way that is making you hate it it doesn't mean what you got an education in is useless maybe there there's another way that you can apply your uh, your education uh, in that field where you're gonna appreciate it right so for example you know if you just from my experience you can you can study geophysics but there are multiple branches of geophysics you can go down you can go down theoretical geophysics you can geophysics you can go to astronomy you can go to exploration you can go to mining you can go to environmental geophysics you can go into building the equipment so there's multiple branches of whatever it is that you studied there should be anyway all right crafter i feel like you can't know if uh, you'll like something in college i feel like i would really like math engineering but now that I uh, tried applied math engineering, I noticed that I mostly like math in high school because how easy it was crafting. <laughs> yeah, math can get pretty hardcore. Some people have a passion, but for others, I feel like it's uh, it's like it, it it could be luck as well. It could be luck as well, right? I lucked out, gang. Like I can honestly tell you, I lucked out, I, and it wasn't. It was a little bit more than luck, right? I made an educated guess because I had a really good teacher that was teaching earth sciences and he, he touched on geophysics and I decided to go to geophysics and I loved it right I lucked out but I've tried a few different fields as well like I've incorporated a multi, you know three three different companies uh, incorporated and I've done uh, partnerships proprietorships and stuff like this and some of the stuff I love some of the stuff I didn't but I tried it real analysis was super hard there yeah there's certain aspects that are super hard uh gang i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab and parlor and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a lot of information you can come to our chat anytime you want on twitch type in exclamation mark social boop, boop, right there and all those links will pop up including our discord page and you're welcome to join us on discord to share information and participate in the discussion okay okay uh bring your thick skin okay some people might agree with you some people might disagree with you including me <laughs> for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and this is mathematics and we will be uploading this on sensor tube and everything goes on bitchute rumble and odyssey and if you're following this work on only sensor tube you're not getting the full meal deal you want to follow the work there okay because sensor tube sensors information and prevents us from sharing uh, certain types of content for those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms 
there are a handful of you that are supporting this work through sensor tube membership gang kudos thank you for the support it is because of the collective support we're getting on these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing aside from that gang welcome to another live stream and don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org and our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2 and keep in mind i believe in july julian assange's birthday comes up and this will be close to 10 years of him being persecuted tortured for revealing information truth transparency of capitalist power that humanity needs to know for us to make sure future generations have a pleasant planet to live on okay elder god how are you doing hope you guys are doing well indeed indeed free free assange and gang i'm still munching on chocolates <laughs> i want a chocolate binge right now so dark chocolate this is like uh cooking chocolate chip uh dark chocolate right um i'm refraining from making chicho's honey chocolate chip cookies because we've been eating a lot of sourdough bread lately my partner's been going ballistic with making sourdough bread and uh, i made some sourdough chocolate chip cookies and we're really good july 3rd 50 years old he's going to be 50 years old um julian assange on july 3rd and he looks beat down man he looks beat down i'm older than julian assange by the way okay and man huge huge respect to anyone that takes on the most powerful centralized powers in the world and does it for humanity like there's nothing else to be said on that right for anyone that uh you know considers those who acquire wealth to be their idols i would i would tell you to uh, reanalyze your life who you should be considering to be your heroes your idols people that you want to emulate people that deserve your full respect are not those that acquire wealth on the back of humanity but those who try to free humanity from those that are acquiring wealth on the back of humanity mc mike chicho i love your recommendations for sourdough on uh, sourdough and honey i would do how i would not have guessed but it is it's so good so good so good so good it's your birthday coming up soon chicho indeed indeed you can consider me an elder because according to the mayan cycle i have lived i believe so anyway i remember this from terence mckenna i have i have lived 52 years and according to what terence mckenna mentioned um the mayan cycle the long count i believe and everything cyclic and that's why we study trigonometry cyclic functions but according to terence mckenna the long count cycle or was it jose Arguelles? um the long count is 52 years so they don't consider someone to be an elder unless they are 52 years old which means they have lived through one cycle right so i'm very happy about that the gray hair shows the gray hair shows ronnie i kind of respect osama bin laden for that <laughs> he was wealthy and he decided to leave all that behind to stand up for the massive superpower powers twice i think he did it the wrong way i think uh assange is doing it the right way ronnie against 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 the us and russia yeah oh good i have a few more years <laughs> cheryl you're not an elder yet <laughs> gang you you don't have to listen to what cheryl says only to what chicho says i've lived one cycle <laughs> with age comes responsibility <laughs> with age 
with great age comes great responsibility. That's sort of a spin-off uh, Spider-Man. With, uh, with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Faith Hill. Yeah, I would say Bin Laden did it the wrong way. Indeed. 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 And unfortunately, he was pushing Wahhabism. And Wahhabism is a cult, fanatical cult, that basically is looking to enslave humanity and kill as many people as possible that don't believe in their ideology, right? Just like any cult. I have the memories of a 60-year-old. Milzy laughing. Let's go, Void. How are you doing? D. Gr Grogrin 12. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate it. Apologies if I missed the follows and the subs and stuff like this, gang. I try to stay up on top of chat and I go off on rants and whatnot. And I'm not sure if, uh, you know, we could just do open discussion. Uh, we've been doing a lot of hardcore math lady. I didn't really, um, I didn't really plan anything out, but I'll, I'll show you one thing. Um, here, let me show you this. Let me show you this. I have a lot of notebooks and stuff. And I, if you, if you remember, I've mentioned before that i highly recommend keeping a journal keeping notebooks keeping pads keeping little booklets where you jot down your notes a pieces of paper have a pen paper handy because if you're working on projects all of a sudden you get an idea for something or you find a solution to a problem and if you don't jot it down right away it it disappears right it's like a dream oh it was there but you lost it right so i have a lot of these things and i've had this booklet for a long time and i kept it you know i didn't make too many notes in it just because um i knew i was going to use it for something legit that was going to be useful right now some of the early notes that i took on and I've, and I've shown you guys some of my notes that i that i've taken uh how to take notes how to study here let me show you let me bring out if you go to my how to study page and this is this is actually pretty important because um what i find with a lot of my students is two things which are ridiculous to crucial one of them is they don't know how to read a textbook all right that's why i put out a video on if you go to do, 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 do. Uh, this should be it where's my playlist how to study here's my how to study playlist okay i have written in diaries since 1993 then you're way ahead of me elder god i just got into it in the early 2000s this is my how to study playlist right and you know i put out a video in this long format and short what short format of how to read a textbook and that's one of my most popular videos um regarding asmr and how education and stuff like this i put out a video on how to make a to-do list okay and basically it's this is reverse order so i start off in the bottom the lowest one is the unless youtube changes this up and it does youtube messes around with people's playlist you you order it from most recent to the oldest or oldest to the most recent and sensor tube messes around so every now and then i have to go reset the stuff it's insane it's insane right what a blo broken platform but in here there's one video i put out is how to take notes okay and this is oops hey come here pause so this is tip number six no this is not tip number six i want the other one oh my god you sensor tube so sucks <laughs> <laughs> Jesus how to take notes okay uh, so this is the video uh, that you know goes through Bojo master how are you doing this is the video that goes through you know how I take notes and how I created a lot of my uh, my videos really uh, the content that you see mathematics content that you see uh, 
all of it almost has been put into books like this right over the years right uh, and you know some of it is messy and whatnot but there's a section here I start off a whole series and this came about from a video that I haven't released yet we did the video live stream where I was making exercises for one of my students I did them on 11 by 17 paper and what I've done is I'm going to release these soonish okay exercises and solutions because exercise and solutions were being hosted for the videos that we created were being hosted on Google's image sharing platform but they killed that a few years ago so I lost all that crap not all of it but all the organizing but basically here's the pages of exercises that I've started giving one of my students and I put some of the stuff together from previous work as well right and I'm going to release these soonish where we start off with graphing right exercises for factoring polynomials complex trinomial factoring graphing polynomials and it keeps on going keeps on going keeps on going so there's a fair bit of exercises that i'm going to release most likely i'm going to create a brand new category on discord especially specifically related to mathematics okay and we're going to build this math content on discord we're not going to do it on blogger because blogger belongs to google and they've already in the last month they've already started removing pages from our website uh, being hosted on blogger because their automated algorithms are complete garbage they're, they're they're killing things because their their algorithm is messed up right so we're not going to do the stuff on blogger and we're going to do it on patreon most likely as soon as even patreon is a little compromised right but i'll we'll load the stuff on patreon but we're going to build it once it's finalized but we're going to build it on discord and we'll put videos together on it and stuff like this so um the math is coming along just for those of you who have been following this work you want to know what this is all about and for those of you on patreon that have been supporting this work for a while i keep on saying it's all layered on mathematics and it is all layered on mathematics as you know uh, but slowly we're going to start releasing the modules hopefully i can put at least one of the modules together this summer and it's going to be related to factoring okay because factoring just to, just so you know what factoring is a lot of people have a hard time understanding what factoring is right and factoring is us taking something and breaking something down right if you were a kid how many of you when you were kids you took something and you broke it apart just to see how it worked or what was in it what made it like even even, even toys right you would take the limbs apart or whatnot and then put it back together take the limbs of this person over here of this soldier or this character over here or this doll over here and put it on the other one right you you open up uh, radios <laughs> i've gone through one mayan cycle so i still remember radios right or jukeboxes jukeboxes who misses jukeboxes did you ever have a jukebox man did you ever carry a boom box like this bah, 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 bah. we had them okay but you take things apart right just to see what they're made from and that's what factoring is just imagine it doesn't have to be an equation in math it could be anything right this is what they do with uh biology and chemistry right they have something here they have something here right here's a here's b right you break a down you break a down you break a down you break a down right if a is made up of all these things right b is made up of this 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 and this right hmm interesting that's what a is made of that's what b is made of right think of it of h2o h2o h2 and o and h and h you got h h and o makes up h2o which is water right this could be on the same level this could be a function this could be a compound this could be people this could be genetic they could be anything right 
And then you decide to make something called C. This happens in comic books a lot. Mad scientists do this, right? Mad scientists come along and say, wow, I really like this trait. I really like this trait and I really like this trait. I'm going to take these three and make C. What is C? Ooh, who knows what C is? What are these guys? If you combine these traits, right, and make up C, does that mean what these three traits of A and B, the dominant traits or whatever the traits were that you're interested in, do they really make C powerful and are they able to work together, right? Do they make what you thought they were going to make or is this just junk, right? Critting, <laughs> all the God says, building muscles, right? Really, that's what this is all about. That's what factoring is. For us, we take functions, we break them down to smaller functions, right? F of X could be made, made up of G of X. Oops, let's put the arrow down properly. H of X and H of X could be K of X and M of X. That's what they're made from. Well, analyze these functions individually and see if you can use them, right? It's cool stuff. That's what factoring is. That's what factoring is in mathematics. Uh, and that's basically goes into personal life choices. Uh, you know, what have you, what have you done investing? What have you done in your life that worked out well? Break it down. First of all, why did it work out well? Was it just luck? Or was it because of other factors in play? Right. It's cool. Like once you once you get a math perspective on everything, it it really opens up the world. Right. It really does. Doop, doo -doo 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 -doo. Factor in the wind. Oh, Joel Master, factor in the wind, indeed. Snipers, video games, right? Crosshairs, here's a dude. Here's a dude laying down. Oh my God, I'm such a horrendous drawer. <laughs> this is this is his, tele, his scope with a gun shooting. Factor in the wind, if the wind's blowing this way, you fire this way, the bullet goes, right? That's bad physics, by the way. <laughs> factor in the wind. Factor in the wind. I'll take down my scribble of horrendous drawing. Right? That's one of the things, uh, like, if you're a teacher nowadays or educator nowadays, uh, you're going to encounter a lot of students that are gamers. I do anyway. And it's so easy to convince gamers to learn mathematics. The trick is to keep them at it. <laughs> Love that you draw hard. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a NFTs out of it. <laughs> oh my God. Taking critting has math factors, water intake and salt in increase in diet, an important factor in uh, critting levels. Yeah, cool. And by the way, bodybuilding is 90% mathematics. 10% discipline. Ah, let me rephrase that. No, maybe not. Elder God, what percentage would be what? 50% mathematics, 50% uh, discipline. Mathematics plays such a ridiculous role in every aspect of your life if you really apply it to whatever discipline it is that you want to do. That once you do it that way, you can't go back. Like, it doesn't make sense, right? Catholic traditionalist, how are you doing? And thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it, brother. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well. Hey, crosshairs, void. MC Mike. Here's a fun factoring and counting math problem. Determine the number of divisors of the integer doink. Hint. Use prime factorization. Yeah, let's write it down. Also, rot 13 algorithms. Rot 13 algorithms. I don't know Rot 13 algorithms. About right. 50-50, Elder God? 
mathematics and discipline four million three hundred and twelve thousand four hundred forty four million three hundred twelve thousand four hundred and forty what's the best way to split this up gang what's the best way to split this up a lot of people go divide by two nope I wouldn't divide by two I decrease it by a factor of ten right take this take this if you see zeros here take them to one side one zero you go like this if this was two zeros you go like this three zeros you go like this right if you if you're trying to break up integers and there's zeros at the end take those down to one side as tens right that way you just lowered it by a factor of 10 okay Catholic tradition is uh, pleased to be able to find some time to make a live stream even more pleased that it is a mass stream awesome Catholic tradition is <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you you haven't been on a mass stream for a long time by the way 80 to 20 if you want to lump up you've got to have a program based on math yeah yeah I had a friend I watched a friend and the reason I know this is because I watched a friend go through it right I watched a friend that I knew in high school he was out of shape right he went to you know he won't carry me sharing because he's he's he knows me right uh, and he's, he's proud of what he did but he went through you know some hard times um, in life right you know there's divorce and stuff like this and he came out of that pretty in pretty rough shape right but what he ended up doing is he bunkered down and started reading reading um, fitness magazines and elder God I don't know if you read fitness magazine but fitness magazines and we would go to the beach together he was one of my beach partners right we, i bring my books math books and lay out my book list math things that we would do in a clothing optional beach right sit down lay stuff out read books and do this and lay everything out and he'd be reading his fitness magazines right and he'd be taking notes and stuff like this i watched this guy go from being overweight pot belly like this within four five years he was competing in a bodybuilding contest and he won his category right within five years six years five to six years his pot belly went in his muscles went boom right he was symmetrical and he'd be he would read some of that stuff to me oh yeah chicho look at this you have this much protein this much salt you do this uh this is this this is this <laughs> this is this like it was total chemistry right total mathematics and i went to school high school with this guy and he wasn't an academic person but he found something that was so passionate about right that he was applying math he was drawing charts graphs i've never seen this guy do graphs and charts in school like literally like what the f right he was laying stuff down and plotting the dots of what he's been lifting what he's been eating how much calories he's been consuming what he's been burning off amazing 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 right five thousand uh five thousand calories 70 percent protein 20 percent fat 10 percent carbs is my standard cool catholic traditions tracking mac macronutrients managing a caloric uh, deficit sets reps for progressive overload responsible supplement consumption body composition all good applications of math and bodybuilding yeah I, and I would I started going out to the gym with him by the way and he showed me a lot of stuff in the gym and how, how the routine was and he would one of the funniest thing he would do he would do this first of all recommendation dates almonds if you need a snack when you're lifting weight you need to feed those muscles speedy gonzalez style you need sugar carbs and protein to be delivered fast to your body right he would take walnuts and dates and uh, and almonds almonds walnuts and dates he would say that's one of the best snacks you could have he also had supplements and proteins and stuff like this right but he would go in there and he would go he was pretty hardcore about it he, he would sometimes he would do some cardio but he would say chicho I don't I don't go run on the treadmill for half an hour to do cardio I do my weights or cardio he goes I don't I don't sit there and you know do a set of reps and take a five-minute break 
I do a set I go hit the other one I go hit the other one I do hit I do a circuit with the reps and within 20 minutes he was sweating right his muscles and he wasn't doing heavy weights at the beginning right he do the weights he do the reps where you're doing the posture correctly you're basically prepping your muscles to be able to do the weights right so he would do a round of his circuit his weights what he was going to do he, he switched between upper body and lower body right you got to work the legs gang if you're doing weights you got to work the legs if you're not working the legs you're being foolish when you work your legs you're giving 20 percent more pump to your body right 20 percent more effectiveness in your bodybuilding uh, when you do when you do legs then when you don't right so you got to do your legs and he would switch up and within 20 minutes he was warmed up he was already getting sweat and then he would start hitting the heavier weights fantastic way to look at it right and a lot of the body work he would do was um, he would say look you, you walk into a gym if you want to know who's capable of doing power moves you watch the people who are able to do chin-ups pull-ups those people who can't do pull-ups useless pull-ups that's what you're working towards you go into the gym even if you can't do one try it out go into find the equipment where you get a little assistance in doing pull-ups include pull-ups chin-ups in your routine and push-ups as well right are you still lumping up so much math tool should uh, should be playing right now tool should be playing right now tool is pure mathematics in their music right pure mathematics in their music back to this you want to break this down you want to break this down so we broke this down what's on this side is the rest of the stuff four three one two oops we don't need this four three one two four four right break it down so we just took it from four million in from the millions down to the hundreds of thousands pull-ups and weights on my leg thanks Batman <laughs> right how do we break this down this is even you can break it down with two breaking it down with two is fine but if you could break it down higher number it makes it easier to break it down later right every herd uh, every herd mathematics by ever heard math ma oh yeah mathematics by dude mathematics by most death i took that track and i cut it into one of my math videos let me show you which one one of the first math videos i put out let me show it to you i'm proud of that one uh which one is it the real number set i believe here let's go in here let's go content real number set real number set there it is i think this is the one that has mathematics playing the with music this is a video if this video is blocked yeah this video was blocked i believe this is most stuff playing in the beginning here let me see 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 i'm just gonna do a search i hope i show what it is wait wait yeah this is it check this out it kicks in hold on it kicks in you'll see what's playing the music begins at 222 i put this video out on 2007 right i put this video out in 2007 mathematics <laughs> it's all mathematics right that's the third video i ever put out in regards to math creating math content okay and i cut it to most deaf's mathematics at the beginning uh, and the music kicks in around 220 okay should have been 420 but 220 it is uh supreme leader of twitch what sort of math are you doing here i'm a total new with uh probability and Bayes' law which i happen uh to have to study but I feel like the teachers aren't explaining very well. Yeah, Bayes' law. I gotta remember Bayes' law. Is Bayes' law the normal distribution? Is is that the normal distribution? Sixty-two people doing mathematics. Awesome. Bayes' law. If it's the normal distribution, we can go over it. By the way, okay. This guy, you can break it down with two, two, 
It's even, so two goes into it, all right? We can use a calculator, you can do it by hand. I would use a calculator for numbers like this, all right? But what does this break down into? Da -da -da -da. Should we do long division? Let's do long division. Might as well practice long division, right? Four, three, one, two, four, four. Two goes into four twice. Four, subtract, you get zero, bring three down. Two goes into three once. Two, subtract one, bring the one down. Two goes into 11 five times. You get 10 minus, you get one, bring the two down. Two goes into 12 six times. That's 12, subtract. You get zero, bring the four down. Two goes into four twice. That becomes four minus zero, bring the four down, and then two. So two goes into that two, one, five, six, two, two. Right? Easy peasy. Okay. Do it again. It's even two. What does this break down into? Can you do it in your head? 215,622. Hmm. I would say it's 100 and let's do it by hand. <laughs> right? Let's do it by hand. Or we can do it with a calculator. But let's do it by hand again. Until we get to numbers that we can do that don't have the odd numbers in there with the two. Two. Two, one, five, six, two, two. Gang, learn how to do long division. It's worth it. Okay. A solid understanding of Bay. Bayes is critical understanding probability and statistics. So Catholic traditions is Bayes law the normal distribution? Is that what we're talking about? Oops, not two. One, two, subtract, zero, one, two doesn't go into one you goes in zero times so bring the one bring five right two goes into 15 seven times you get 14 subtract you get one bring the six goes eight times 16 subtract you get zero bring the two that goes once and then you bring the two that goes once so two goes one zero seven eight one one right supreme leader of twitch well i'm being taught Bayes law in another language so it's a little hard to understand the english term i gotta look it up Bayes law but this is the formula provided under the chapter okay i gotta look it up uh your links don't show up supreme leader uh just because only me and uh moths can Bayes law uh for me only me and moths can uh Oh yeah, conditional probability. That's what you're doing. Conditional probability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bayes' law is this: the conditional probability. Probability of A occurring given B is equal to probability of B given A times the probability B given A times the probability of A divided by the probability of B. Okay, that's the formula for Bayes' law. Is that the one we're talking about, uh, Supreme Leader? Boink. Do you ever use the horizontal and vertical lines for uh, multiplication? Horizontal and vertical lines for multiplication? I don't know. I don't know what that means, horizontal and vertical lines. Is that the box way of doing it? No, I'm old school. I do it the old school way. Um, okay. Do you guys like comic books in the stream <laughs> i like comic books here right now right now i'm reading uh, um i finished uh, starman number 12 okay this is from 19 uh when did this come out 1990s so i'm reading i just finished this one starman number 12 it's a three-parter and i'm going to read the uh, sins of the child this is sins of the child part one sins of the child part two and sins of the child part three of five and starman number 13 and then number 14 right always reading car comic books starman is really good starman is really good for Bayes theorem it is helpful to understand uh, uh set theory mc mike do you ever use the horror no i don't know about that one is there anything in the world that math can't solve uh yeah there's we can't do division by zero division by zero the universe explodes right oh. 
it seems like that's the formula yes i'm impressed by you knowing it like that uh, well i looked it up i looked it up but I, I i knew this i just wanted to know which one it was right i've never been able to remember that formula so it's it's just think of it as conditional probability what's the probability of this occurring if you already know this has occurred right and sometimes it doesn't change the probability at all for example here here's a coin right here's dice right one two three and here's heads and then tails on the other side my question to you is what's the probability of flipping a tails knowing that a three has you've rolled a three on a die right so you've taken a you've rolled a three on dice what's the probability of rolling ahead well the probability is still 50 percent so if these two guys are not related there's no link between them Bayes theorem just becomes the probability of whatever the original event was if they're related then you have to look at the probabilities and see uh, how they're related right and it it can become difficult I agree with you it can become confusing uh, it can become confusing star man yeah. he's talking about the method they use to teach uh, Canada King live I think no uh, 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 finger round is talking about the method they use to teach multiplication to grade school kids in a lot of the Asian countries no I don't know it King Canada um, and Kev Kevin Kevion I don't know that one the horizontal and vertical line thing uh, well and Catholic tradition says well math cannot help me determine what my wife would like to eat for dinner I ah, maybe could <laughs> probabilities right Look at past meals. Elder God chimes in. Look at past meals. Do a probability chart for the top five favorites, <laughs> and uh, there could be mood and whatnot related to right? comfort food. Comfort food is always good. Bojo Master, what's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? A hundred dollars. I, I've had. There's been times where we're flipping coins for a hundred bucks a pop okay on one flip it was just between friends nothing too serious even though it got serious cheryl you could try Catherine, but it may yield unsatisfactory results cheryl says <laughs> your partner might say what are you doing treating me like a probability probability data set what the hell that is far too rational an approach to have any chance of success ha <laughs> ha kevian if I try and use the calculator on my computer to divide by zero, what will happen? Will it break something? My computer explode? Well, your computer says error. It can't compute. It's too big. It's it, it doesn't happen. I really struggle with math in school. And that's because the, our education system, Bojo Master education system, completely sucks. And in regards to dividing by zero, take a look at this thing. Here what's one divided by one and then go one divided by 0 0.1 and then one divided by 0 0.01 and then one divided by 0 0.001 and continue this process and by the way I think the third video I ever put out was talking about this right continue the same process until you get one divided by 0 0.0000000 and just continue it on continue it on one you're gonna get a huge number huge number right and when you get that huge number consider this what if this was zero one divided by zero just becomes it explodes okay now if you want a video talking about this this and this is one of the questions that uh, zero boom let's see if it's gonna pop up as one of the um, um language Boop. oh crap let me bring it up zero 
language oh come on okay I gotta go to my playlist and grab it language of mathematics language check out this check out this video right now when I put out this video there's a reason I put out this video right to answer your question about regarding dividing by zero but this video is one of the math videos that gets the least amount of love from mathematicians right people that know mathematics because their comments was Chicho you can't do this this is wrong right like literally they would say you can't do this this is wrong but they don't they fail to understand that this is a video to answer to deal with a problem that some people have and our education system has in regards to dividing by zero okay so there was a lot of haters that came on there oh this is wrong this is wrong this doesn't make sense mathematics because you can't cross multiply this thing and this thing, this thing. because if you do this one divided by zero I did this equals infinity right and they said infinity is not a real number well infinity you can think of I think of infinity in two different ways I think of infinity as counting forever right forever for ever okay and the other way I think of infinity is the universe explodes universe explodes right and what I ended up doing with this in that video I said cross multiply this up that goes up there that goes up there so one divided by infinity is zero right one divided by the biggest number you can think of is approximately zero people are like oh you can't do that you can't do the cross multiply because infinity is not a number blah blah, blah 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 I'm like dude you guys have never taught high school mathematics you guys are talking about mathematics at a university level <laughs> dealing with calculus and stuff like this when you when people are trying to wrap their heads around the concept of dividing by zero it is important to break it down to something simple like this to show people what the problem is so take that video with a grain of salt but it really does a good job at explaining why we can't divide by zero okay we can kill this guy too right Felix how you doing welcome welcome to the live stream I love the stream <laughs> laugh out loud thing around I love the stream math comic with crystals Chicho sharing with us what he loved indeed then that's my main thing that has been oh, I missed a whole bunch of chat at the beginning oops if you try and use the calculator yeah yeah I really struggle with math in school yep supreme to which I see so in your given example of the coin and da uh, dice what if I ask I ask what is the probability of throwing a dice and a coin and the dice landing on three and the coin on tails would that be yeah so that's the way it would be the probability if you're doing probability of two events that are not related right and what's the probability of them occurring together then probability of rolling was it a header uh, thing you said uh, coin uh, land uh, coin tails so the probability probability of tails on a coin is a half probability of rolling a three is one out of six right one out of six so the probability of rolling a tail and rolling a three is going to be these two guys multiplied together times one out of six which is one out of twelve right yeah that should be it unless I'm mistaken I've been watching your content for years but only now come to join you on Twitch ah welcome welcome Hinden Adam Hinden thank you for joining us on Twitch for the live streams appreciate it Elder God I calculate uh, potatoes have an 80% chance of being successful <laughs> funny funny coding Cormac no country for no country for old men <laughs> Bojo master Sweden's cool could you help me understand Lebens uh, Certurium I don't know that I gotta look it up I don't know what that thing is 
What's up, Chicho? Felix, Felix. Supreme Leader of Twitch, MC Mike. Try writing a tree diagram. In the first step, write down six branches to represent the outcome for rolling dice. Yeah, and that's the way you could do it as well. Are we doing it uh, together? Because the tree diagram is like this for a probability distribution, right? So let's assume you toss the coin first, right? So coin. You toss the coin, a head and a tail. So probability of a head is fifth, one half and the probability of tail is one half. And then you're going to roll the dice. The dice and a dice, right? So the dice has six possible outcomes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So on the first roll, if you roll ahead, you go to the dice, and then each one of these is one six probability, right? One over six. Mm, let's put it here. One over six, one over six, they're all one over six, right? So you could do this. If you want to find out what the probability of rolling ahead and then rolling a one, two, or three, you would go, okay, the probability of rolling ahead and then a one, two, or three. Well, probability of a one is a half times one six, one, one over six. Probability of a two is a half times one over six. Probability of a three is a half times one over six. This is one over 12. This is equal to one over 12. And this is equal to one over 12. And then you add up the totals. You would do it over here. You add up the totals at the bottom. You get three out of 12, which is equal to one over four. So there's multiple ways you go about probability distributions and stuff. Um, I want to keep on reading MC Mike's reply. MC Mike, uh, try writing a tree diagram. In the first step, write down six branches to represent the outcome for rolling a dice. Yeah, and you could flip this around. You could say dice first, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then heads or tails. And th that would probably be better because you write down, you write down the higher prob, up, uh, higher branches first that way you only have to do it once and then the lower two branches right uh, and then for each branch draw two branches to represent the outcome of the coin toss the total pass represent the sample space s then count the number of events you need yeah chicho makes math interesting i like calculating but just struggle <laughs> bojo master and everybody else here too like the contributions there's people here that know mathematics way better than i do like the Catholic traditionalist is one of them, by the way. <laughs> it's like bod mass. I never got taught that in school at all. Ah, oh, other God. They, they suck, man. Our central education system is so bad. I just remember anything divided by zero is zero. No, anything divided by zero is the universe explodes. You can't divide by zero. It's a limit. King Canada Alive, Chicho. I just looked it up. The intersecting line method of multiplying you have not heard of is uh, colloquially known as Japanese multiplication. Ah, okay. If you're curious at any point, just search for, for that term. Okay, Japanese multiplication. I think that's the one where they line up. Oh, God. I can probably look this up like 15 years ago or something like this, where they line up the numbers and then they go diagonally or something like this right they go like this i think i don't know some there's some kind of wacko way like this i think it's going to be multiply multiplied together it's not going to be plus a half plus one six it's a half times one six if you got an orange and you need to divide it into zero pieces then you get zero pieces um, if you got an orange, you want to divide it into zero pieces. Okay, let's see. If you, you have an orange, you don't want to divide it into any pieces, then you have just have a whole orange, right? My brain can't understand. Yeah, I think you're thinking about it the wrong way. You're posing the problem in, in a way that it's flawed, right? The question has to make sense. That's one of the reasons sometimes uh, there are no solutions to certain types of questions because the question is flawed, right? 
Supreme Leader of Twitch to MC my thanks. The tree diagram method is definitely interesting. First time I heard of that, thanks. Touch. Yeah. If you divide an orange into zero pieces, doesn't that mean you have one piece? Yeah. If you divide by zero, but you, you're not you're not really dividing it by zero. That English doesn't translate into mathematics, right? You're saying I have an orange and I'm not gonna break it up. That's what you're saying. But you're saying I have an orange, I want to divide it into zero pieces. But that doesn't make sense. That doesn't translate into mathematics, right? So you have to be careful translating between one language and another language, right? So translating between English and mathematics, and mathematics is a language, the translation doesn't work. Okay, there are words that in English have no meaning in Armenian or Farsi or Latin or French or uh, Mandarin or Cantonese or Russian or whatever it is and vice versa so you have to be be careful in that translation right Bojo master are numbers numbered or limitless is zero an actual number sure I have zero dollars on me right now I, I don't have any money on my pockets and it's the unit that matters right and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censor 2 Catholic traditionalist Chicho Lebens uh, criterion is used to show that a certain class of alternating series is convergent now check this out gang this is how well Catholic tradition knows his mathematics and for me he knows it better than me because I would have to translate what he just said right so LeBen's criterion is okay so is you can translate into equals okay so LeBen's criterion means or is used to show that a certain class of alternating series is convergent so what that means is this and Catholic tradition is correct me if I'm wrong okay this is what I'm understanding it's basically saying this you have a set of numbers I don't know if it's alternating series or is it going to be uh, and it's a series so they're added together so there's a difference between the word sequence and series series means they're being added or subtracted together sequence means there's comma between them there's set of numbers right so point point we're just going to do plus it means these numbers converge to an actual number so there's going to be a number here okay if it's divergent it means these set of numbers series of numbers would not have a sum this would be infinity that would be divergent right is that correct uh, Catholic traditionalist John s99 thank you very much for the twitch prime sub uh, da, da, da. what's going on we're doing math undefined what about zero divided by zero is undefined or uh, zero divided by zero it depends on the type of function but zero divided by zero is undefined unless there are certain parameters in relation to those functions that if the top is a function bottom is a function it's a limit you're talking about right I gotta find out uh, is undefined as well it is undefined yeah zero divided by zero is undefined thanks I told that's totally it it helped me learn visually can get it live that's the one Japanese multiplication I gotta look that up supreme leader of twitch what is the dif difference between a half plus a half plus a half and a half times a half times a half in the context of probability uh, when you're multiplying them the events have to be concurrent they have to occur back to back right if you're adding them it's the total sum of the events uh, all the probabilities added up 
So when we when we went this way on the tree diagram, when we drew it going, those are the events happening together. You're doing um, one experiment. Oh, no, because the other one, the whole thing could be one experiment. But basically, they're occurring together. And then when we added it up this way, it's the total sum of those events occurring together. Right? Probability of that whole system, what's that thing happening? I'm not sure if I'm explaining that properly. Or should plus not be used at all? No, you can use plus. We added the stuff when we went down, right? 112 plus 112 plus 112 was 312 equals a quarter, right? Not to be used at all. In the beginning, my intersect was to use plus. Uh, instinct was to use plus, but my teacher told me to never use plus. Uh, no, you can use plus, but it's, it's multiple probabilities you're adding up together. You use plus. Uh, if you start at zero, you don't need to travel. <laughs> Look at I have zero dollars on says <laughs> Oops, I got too much. Yeah, I noticed you get you put the division in there, so I I didn't read that. Technically I have negative dollars. Most people have negative dollars. Right? Or let's rephrase, they they owe money. It's not negative dollars. It's not realized yet. Bojo Master. I've got an orange for my um, walk in a bit I've got an orange for my walk in a bit a walk will help my brain process all this yeah I gotta know oh you're gonna take an orange with you for your walk that was confusing me nice oranges are delicious MC Mike to uh, Supreme Leader of Twitch yeah you could also use set theory to solve that too so there are three basic operations uh, intersections and union or and difference subtraction for your problem let a represent the event that die lands on a three and let B represent the coin lands on heads the probability is the number of events divided by the number of total poss possible outcomes for each then take the intersection and multiply the fractions to get the probability of getting a heads and a three on the die in fact all of mathematics can be expressed in terms of set theory all of mathematics can express in terms of set theory really mc mike never thought about it that way i need to do full-blown review of my probability i've taken uh you know pretty hardcore probability courses at university but i've forgotten the majority of it uh swag boy flex um, is a good way to get started with proof is to write proofs for basic arithmetic operations first yeah yeah start off with the most basic stuff first and understand the different types of proof proof by induction proof by this proof by this uh, for me i'm not very good at proofs tell you the truth uh, because there are certain assumptions you have to have for you to begin the proof and where you're going so there's a lot of um what do you call it you set your parameters at the beginning right supreme leader of twitch to mc mike thanks i had to take a moment to translate some of the terminology used since i normally learn all of this in dutch but it's still useful awesome awesome mc mike to swag boy uh, flex what kind of proofs are you working on have you looked into basic formal logic that would be a good start but also different proof strategies yeah i.e direct method contradiction contra position induction there's so many different types of proofs right uh, mc mike no i just got a book on discrete mathematics i use i guess i should uh, learn math logic before first before i learn how to write proofs um one of the best ways to learn proofs is just to do the terminology and the symbols used uh, so you don't have to drop your discrete mathematics book you can keep on doing that but learn some of the basic terminology of proofs first not first but uh, at the same time right K 
Catholic tradition is to MC Mike. The fundamental uh, position to set theory holds in mathematics is mind blowing. Really, I gotta get into set theory. I gotta get into set theory. I understand. I'm officially lost. Elder God, me too, to a certain degree, depending on the proofs they're talking about. Right? It's all the terminology, right? Not too lost, but it's not. I would have to find the definition of certain some of the words, right? Communication, Bojo Master. But reading people is my math power, haha. <laughs> and gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2. Swag boy flex. So I would recommend starting. Uh, so MC Mike to Swag Boy Flex recommends starting out with um, Centennial and quant quantificational logic. Learn logic operators and quantifiers. Example: there exists and for all statements, either you'll use deductive reasoning or inductive reasoning proved by mathematical induction. So it's the terminology then if if then and the other stuff i'm not very good at that stuff i, I love like the i love tree diagrams the tree stuff true and false stuff mc mike i'm currently doing discrete math right now so we cover number three logic set theory function and relations counting and probability and finite state uh automaton oh wow if there's something specific i can help out with let me know awesome mc my serious brain power there uh leader of twitch so this is an example probability question i'm trying to solve the chance of having a girl baby is 49 percent, and that of a boy baby is 51 percent. what's the chance that a family of three children is made up of two girls and one boy here check this out let's do this we we ended this one we'll leave that up because this is just a tree diagram uh, supreme leader of twitch how would I go about solving such a probably set you do it like this so uh, child number one number one yeah let's write it out so we understand it child child number one so child number one girl or a boy right the probability for a girl is 0.15 the probability of a boy is 0.4 right is that true uh girl yeah oh no the other way around oops so girl baby is 49 percent the boy is 51 so this would be boy this would be girl okay i'm gonna kill this guy gang for this one you would just break it down and you can't divide by two anymore because this is a one so you would have to find an odd number that goes into this because two is the two is the only and this one would be two and five right and then two is the only even prime number and you're going to look for other primes that go into this so you do the prime and you're going to do it with the calculator right let's do this so the next one you can have a boy you can have a girl you can have a boy you can have a girl right again the boy is 0.51 the girl is 0.49 the boy is 0.51 and the girl is 0.49 right i can actually do this question I'm officially back <laughs> Oh my god, I got to go have a good rest of stream. Well, you too, Milzy. And then the next baby, next kid, is boy and a girl again, right? 0 0.51, 0 0.49, boy, girl, 0 0.51, 0 0.49, boy, girl, 0 0.51, 0 0.49 boy girl 
0 0.51, 0 0.49. And by the way, you could do this by laying it out in this, uh, what do you call it? The power stuff you can use. And then your question is this, right? So I'm going to read the question again, right? From Supreme Leader of Twitch. Answer this question. The chance of having a girl baby is 49% and that of a boy baby is 51%. What's the chance that a family of three children, so we got three children, one event, oh sorry, one event, so that's your first kid. Here, this is not child number one. This is parents. Parents, right? So this is uh, child number one is here. Child number two is here. Child number three is this column, right? So what's the chance that a family of three children is made up of two girls and one boy right so i'm going to do this in red pen so two two, 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 two girls and one boy so let's assume you go down this road first you get your boy first right here let's do it this way so you see it you have your boy first and then the next two kids have to be girls because you want two girls right so then you would have to go girl your second child is girl and girl okay so if your first kid is a boy you have no choice than to go girl girl right so this would be 0 0.51 times 0 0.49 squared let me write down write this down better right so this one the outcome is 0 0.51 times 0 0.49 squared that's not that much better but it is sort of right now your next avenue you can go your first kid can be a girl right if your first kid is a girl and your second kid is a girl then your next kid has to be a boy so over here the probability is 0 0.49 times 0 0.49 times 0 0.51 so 0 0.49 squared times 0 0.51 right now here's another avenue you can take if your first kid is a girl your second kid could be a boy you don't care which one it is but your third kid has to be a girl because you're looking for two girls and a boy so then you go down this one so over here you got 0.49 times 0.49 times 0.51 so 0 0.49 squared times 0 0.51 okay so what we have right now is there's three different paths for this family these parents to have two girls and one boy and these are the paths that you have and what you do you add those up so you have the total probability and this is where you add them right and if you're adding them they're all three of them are the same is 0.49 squared times 0.15 right so all you would do you would go 0 0.49 squared times 0 0.51 add it together three times or just multiply this by three and that would be your answer okay is that clear that's the way you would do this problem and the problem is the chance of having a girl baby is 49 percent and that of a boy baby is 51 percent what's the chance that a family of three children is made up of two girls and one boy the tree diagram works for this okay is that clear Uh, swag boy Felix MC Mike thanks I enjoy these streams because everyone here is trying to either learn or solidify their knowledge on some uh, some form of math yeah me too that's why I like them too uh, 
MC Mike swag boy swag boy you're welcome I know what you mean I started watching Chicho when I was upgrading my math to get into university a couple of years went by and he was one of the people to inspire me to go further in mathematics ah dude serious really Mike awesome I love the live streams for the same reason happy to help when I can awesome MC Mike that makes me happy man awesome 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 the tears to chicho's eyes another mathematician in, into the wild fantastic fantastic powerful hey mike supreme leader of twitch oh wow that's a very nice and clear visual visual explanation the teacher never explained in this visual way but now i feel like i actually understand this so basically i just made the mistake of only considering a single path yeah basically very interesting my pleasure uh supreme leader of twitch uh and by the way i'm pretty sure this is correct but if i'm wrong please let me know anyone okay and and there is this level of mathematics you can do it with the tree diagram but if you have a lot of path then you gotta sort of apply this you come up with proofs formulas that do this thing without you really having to draw it and you can come up with equations to do more complicated stuff right numbers yeah numbers the tv series yeah yeah that's really good i like that as well swag swag boy flex mc my same i watch his youtube videos back in the day where he would explain how to study math i thought i was never a math person but i bought a book on pre-algebra shortly afterwards and worked my way back up now i'm about to take calc 2 and call us awesome swag boy flex fantastic two mathematicians into the wild <laughs> that brings happiness to chicho <laughs> fun fun yeah the number series is really good yeah i watched some of the episodes a long time ago i haven't watched any any of their episodes uh recently uh just been engaged with other things right what fantastic guys you guys made me happy man mathematics fun fun i hope you guys are on a fantastic monday by the way and by the way supreme leader of twitch i'm amazed that your teacher didn't give you this visual that really sucks that your teacher didn't give you this visual uh why wouldn't they give you this visual for considering different paths it's it's a no-brainer this this lays it out properly right pause online notes for good calc 2 practice problems cool cool pause online notes i used to use uh before online stuff i used to use a lot of books that had uh, different types of problems you could do I still have a lot of them all of them really I never it, for me gang by the way I collect comic books but I have a lot of textbooks as well it was rare for me to get rid of math textbooks uh, I, I end up using them a lot or use reference them a lot used to anyway supreme leader of twitch yeah she just started by doing math formulas and I have a very hard time understanding what was actually going on with the numbers yeah that look mathematics one of the reasons mathematics came to be was because of visualizing people were vi seeing things happen and they're trying to understand it and they came up with the language to try to understand something that they were seeing uh in real life like a visual right maybe back in the day people seeing stars do this and then there were these seven things that didn't follow the pattern of the rest of the stars right mathematics is extremely visual it's very unfortunate that they don't really focus on that right bojo master if only the world could be saved by math equations it can be we just have to make sure that everyone's everyone is literate in the language of mathematics because one of the most powerful powerful aspects one of the most powerful things that mathematics teaches you is it gives you the ability to have a 
very very fine-tuned BS detector when you see BS coming your way if you know mathematics you can call it for what it is way better than people that don't have a good math understanding right because mathematics is about logic is about finding patterns understanding the data when the data is flawed mathematics can save you money pain heartache it can save you your life okay ridiculously important ridiculously important oh god i got formulas in school it was just cold hard emotionless numbers no charts oh unfortunate unfortunate gang by the way thank you very much for the follows apologies if i'm not catching them i'm just when i get distracted when i'm doing mathematics i make silly mistakes right and that's one of the things i advise you to do if you're working on a math problem don't take your eyes off the problem don't take your eyes off the prize right that's when mistakes happen that's when you drop an a sign that's when you forget to do a division or add a number or do a multiplication right or drop a bracket the wandering stars the wandering stars if there were formulas wouldn't that be called hard letters yeah letters and um, constants right supreme leader of twitch thank you very much for the tier one sub you're a great math teacher I thank you I appreciate it I've worked hard at it to try to um, help out really it's not that my math is extremely powerful it's just that I understand the struggle uh, I try to relate I, I try to have empathy with people that are trying to learn something because I've gone through it myself right and I still go through it, trying to understand certain aspects of life right the Fibonacci sequence awesome I love the Fibonacci sequence I put out a couple of videos on the Fibonacci sequence in relation in to uh, the mathematics of art and design do Chicho and Fibonacci sequence in the golden uh, rectangle and you'll see two videos I put out with a friend of mine one of them was building a golden rectangle uh, from the outside in and the other one's golden building the golden rectangle from the inside out uh, which is phenomenal my friend that's uh, Dirk Marwig it, where we looked at his mathematics of his art he builds it from the outside in because he was he's using a canvas to sort of superimpose the golden rectangle into his art right so he had a limit that he had to work with for me I work from the inside out that because that makes more sense to me right visually it's more appealing to me right MC Mike the swag boy flex maybe I can link up some of my calc 2 notes to the discord page if I can oh for sure MC Mike please do I've basically got notes for calc 1 calc 2 3 linear algebra 1 2 some discrete currently taking probability courses and uh, differential equation uh, RN so uh, when those are done I can link up those notes uh, later too maybe we should uh, you know what I'll look into creating a separate main math folder as well where people can uh, uh, share their notes because I'm going to be building my own notes in there for the different modules so um, MC Mike message me on discord and uh, I'll hop on it I'll create something see what we can put together it's a struggle but it's fun and a lot of beauty learning mathematics it is indeed Dr. Hang Matten just came not sure if you have time but I got one that seems related to the one on the board I have not worked through it though two players A and B a has one dollar and B has two dollars in a game each round the winner gets one dollar from the loser okay a is better than B so a has dollar and 
B with a chance of winning equals to two-thirds game ends if one is bankrupt what is the probability of a winning the game yeah that's basically this that's basically this but it seems a little bit more complicated because as soon as a has more money than B then a is gonna win oh no not necessarily Putin rolls there how are you doing is this graph theory this is a probability just different branches probability of this probability is we can do that one uh, as well uh, hang Matten. let me erase this I think that can be done this way as well should be able to so the the game is this uh, or the question is this does the calc two notes really include da, 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 da. is this graph there that the graph theory? I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing else H H H O will do. Awesome MC Mike. Thank you. You look like search like uh, do you know her? Do you know him? <laughs> I wrote an article, do Chicho System of a Down review. I wrote an article of System of Down back in two thousand and five. Their music. We keep Keep it real. We keep it real. How are you doing? I'm 30 and still trying to master pre-algebra because math is really cool, and I know it answers the questions to the universe. But I feel like I've, I'll never get to the level of asking a question of that caliber, let alone answering it. I still want to learn uh, as much as I can. I just find it hard to use it enough in my daily life for it to stick with me to get to the uh we keep it we keep it real take a look at this look mathematics the end goal of mathematics is not for you to understand quantum mechanics the end goal of mathematics is for you to have enough literacy in the language of mathematics to be able to look at certain problems from the lens of mathematics from a mathematical perspective that means understanding charts and graphs that means understanding data sets right that means understanding anomalies and that doesn't require for you to know extreme levels of calculus or anything like this right it just has to be enough enough mathematics for you to be able to look at something and go this looks like this or it looks like that this looks weird or this looks like there's an anomaly here or this looks legit that's the end goal of mathematics as far as i'm concerned yeah i remember those now as much wisdom as much grief he that increases knowledge increases sorrow <laughs> or joy right seriously no i i disagree with that that's very nihilistic and nietzsche-ish right it's like um what's that saying that says uh ignorance is bliss ignorance is not bliss when you're being led to the slaughter it's good to know if you're being led to the slaughter that way you can hopefully escape right mc mike not sure if people are interested but down the road i could compile some material for anyone interested in learning finance and computer programming too i'm also uh, doing finance with math at uni so again happy to share oh man we we need to create a new whole subsection in discord uh, elder god uh as for the problem where was the problem here's the problem uh there's two people person a person b person a has one dollar person b has two dollars person a when they're playing this game has a two-third probability of winning and person b has one-third probability of winning whoever runs out of money loses so here's the game begin begin game right so if a wins right and b wins right the probability of a winning is two out of three the probability of b winning is one out of three right i gotta make this tighter because we're gonna have more branches right let me put this in the center 
All right, game begins. Game begins. Let's see if we can do this properly. So we got A and we got B. Two thirds probability of winning, one third probability of winning. All right? Person A begins with one dollar. Person person B begins with two dollars. Okay. Whoever runs out of money, the game's over, right? As soon as someone runs out of money, the game's over. Okay. Now, if person B wins, because person A only had one dollar, game over. Game over. We're here now, right? When person A wins, then you have you can play again because person B now only has one dollar. Here's person A winning again and person B winning again, right? Probability of A winning again is two thirds. Probability of B winning again is one third, right? So if person A wins, person B is down to one dollar. If person A wins again, B is down to zero dollars, A wins. Yeah, this is where the problem occurs, I think. Not sure if people are interested, but down the road. Oh, okay, yeah, that one. So this one, game over. Game over. The issue is this, right? Because if we go down here, and then you can play the next round, two thirds and one third right if this occurs person b wins check this out person b wins so person a had won he had two dollars and then person b had won he had uh they're back to the original and then if person b wins again game over game over but if person a wins then they're back to B having one dollar and A having two dollars, right? So what happens here is this pattern is going to repeat A and B, right? So what happens down the road here? Using this method, you can get an approximation of what the result will be. What was the end thing you wanted to know? Uh, game ends if one is bankrupt. What is the probability of A winning the game? You can get it close to it using this method. I don't know if you can get exact using this method. There's another way. There has to be a, another way to do this. Okay. But using this method lays down the problem in a way that you can actually visualize it, right? So probability of A winning is if you go down, because at some point, the probability is so low that it really doesn't affect the, it converges to a number. Okay. Dr. Skill, hey, I have struggled with the Pythagorean theorem. I don't know if it's the correct name because I'm German. Yeah, Pythagorean theorem is the right angle triangle, right? Let me know what you guys get for this if you do this calculation we'll, we'll do the Pythagorean theorem right now I'm just gonna put the question out there for people right this is game over would be one-third this would be two-thirds times two-thirds two-thirds times two-thirds which is four-ninths right this one would be two-thirds times a third times a third which would be two twenty sevenths. So you can add these guys up so far, right? What was the original question again? Wait a second. What? Uh, game as of one. What is the probability of a? Oh, of a winning. Poop. Just a winning. This is b winning, so we don't care about this one. This is also b winning, so we don't care about this one. So so far, probability of a winning is four nines, and then over here again you can do this calculation would be two-thirds times a third times two-thirds times two-thirds and you get a number here and you add that to that right and then 
you do a few more branches what you're gonna find out it converges to a number what is that number right that's gonna be eight eighty ninths eight eighty first eight over eighty eighty one eight over eighty one okay so eight over eighty one plus four over nine plus what that doesn't matter uh, doop, doop. so this is going to be here let's just add this up 81 multiplied by 9 36 plus 8 which is going to be uh, 44 over 81 what is that doop, 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 doop. 44 over we need to uh, take in limb or something yeah we need to we need to talk about limits for this there's no doubt we're doing limits so we have to come up with an equation right so this is saying right now 54 percent approximately right how much higher is it going to go 54.32 percent point three two percent right so that's the lowest uh that is going to be it's going to look like higher looks like series yeah it's going to be a series there's no doubt about it right because that's what this is right now so it's going to be something along the lines of something plus something plus something plus something and each one of these guys is going to contribute less and less to the total right and then you do the limit of this you come up with an equation f of x so lim you're going to come up with some kind of function as x whatever the uh, iterations are uh, approaches infinity which is going to be um, most likely um, bah, 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 permutations and stuff right looks like four uh, times n minus one over three to the power of n for n equals two three who is julian assange is he a whistleblower he is a journalist and a publisher um he's the guy that started off wikileaks and allowed whistleblowers to release information on the shenanigans of capitalist power and he's being crucified in uk prison right now on behest of the u.s government okay very important person very important person so the formula that uh, dr hang Matt mentions is this he's saying the formula goes like this four n minus one is that i'm assuming the star is three to the power of n or is that supposed to be four to the power of it could, it could be that for n for n equaling two three or higher but if it's higher then the probability is going to go zero oh because it's going to contribute less and less right so what's going to happen is as the n goes higher the bottom is going to explode it's going to become bigger than the top so the contribution of these guys is going to be less and less right elder god you got 57 percent i'm rubbish no this is the lower bound there's going to be more contrib because we only went two levels on this right there's going to be more coming in from this and this so for sure it could be 57 it's a sum yeah but just eyeballed it yeah yeah it's cool it's cool as far as Pythagorean theorem goes, let's do Pythagorean theorem last couple of minutes. Nice problem, by the way. Nice problem. Very cool. Thank you, Joe. My pleasure. Um, yeah, I wonder what the formula would be. I must go where where you. I must go where you live. I live in. This is the Pythagorean theorem guy, right? Is it? right 
No, no, you gotta take off for Pythagorean theorem. Oh well, uh, I'm in Canada. I'm in Canada. I'll see my. It's okay. I wrote those two books down. I got a PDF for proofs called "In Introduction to Abstract Mathematics" by Keen. Uh, oh, Keen! I know Keen. I haven't uh, worked it out yet. Nice. Oh, what, where am I live? Uh, for mathematics, uh, we do math sessions, not live. Wait, <laughs> uh, mathematics, we do about uh, two math sessions a month. So, and I do a math session every live stream that we announce uh, sets. I do them in sets. So we're doing one this week. The odds are the next set will be next week. So we're going to do another math live stream next week sometime okay you have to check our um, either discord page or go to patreon and when I have a live stream schedule set I pin it to the top and you can see when then when the math stream is during those sets okay this is the math stream for the set that we have lined up for this week okay so if you check the patreon page the next set that I announced there will definitely be a math one there and uh, you can make plans to be there for it and I can run you through the Pythagorean theorem because we can expand on the Pythagorean theorem it's pretty important actually okay dr. skill Supreme Leader Trich quote an employee works uh, from Monday to Friday on Mondays there is a 30% chance of a mistake being made in a project 30% chance damn on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday there's only a daily 5% chance of a mistake. And on Friday, it's a 15%. That employee should drink less on the weekends. Uh, on Friday, it's a 15% chance of a mistake. At the end of the week, there's a single mistake in the project. What is the probability that the mistake was made on a Monday? You just have to do weighted averages. How, how would this be written into a good and understandable formula? My teacher won't accept it if I solve this with a diagram. It's uh, it's, it's probability. It's um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you average it out, right? So thirty percent Monday, thirty percent Monday. Uh, next three days, what was it? Five percent each one mistake on no. Oh, five percent for the rest. Five, 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 and fifteen percent on Friday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know if I have time to do this. Um, means that it's averages, yeah. So what you end up doing? Oh, let me do. Oh, okay, the picture. So what you end up doing is, um, what you could do is just total up the thing so this is 30 40 uh, 50 60 so all of these you can divide by 60 right 60 so this is 50% probability here this is whatever that is 5 divided by 60 5 divided by 60 what's the per percent there 5 divided by uh, 60 is 0 0.0 so this is 8.3 repeating percent 8.3 repeating percent 8.3 repeating percent and 15 divided by 60 what is that the bump, bump, quarter 25 percent right 0 0.2 well, 25 percent so the question is what's the question uh, what is the probability that the mistake was made on a Monday? 50%. That's all. Any good entry level books on logic, understanding it for basic everyday use? Uh, C.S. Lewis for logic. Read C.S. Lewis to get an appreciation for logic. It's not mathematics related, but it's logic related. Oh, wow. You made it look so. I think this is it. Uh, MC Mike, is this correct? I'm pretty sure this is correct. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Pretty sure anyway. Right? 
Yeah, it should be. I love these at school. We were given a calculator, but I always said, how am I supposed to get a better with machine doing my work indeed? That's what, it appears to be correct. I think so. I think this is it. The method looks much easier though. Yeah, I don't know what method they're teaching. Like centralized education is just garbage. Right. Aside from that gang, let's call the stream. Okay. Fun math stream. We went all over the place. Super fun. Super fun. Uh we did probability, which is cool. And there were some mathematicians talking about crazy stuff that we didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> sort of we have to do review. <laughs> Me and Ella got, Ella got a little lost, but we we got back. We got back in the game. Gang, thank you for being here. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for participating. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for answering the questions. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Thanks a lot. That was fun and educational. Awesome. Supreme leader of Twitch. I'm glad you enjoyed. Me too. Me too. And I think most people here did. So that's super fun. Gang, if you're wondering what this is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, which is basically layered on mathematics, this is the core essence of what we're doing. Patreon is a great way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. Very much appreciated. Was it probably me having a beer tonight, Joe? It's Monday. Zero. You're not supposed to be drinking on week uh, weekdays, right? Did you break it? Gang, we are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in these live streams, Twitch is where you want to be at. And gang, again, thank you very much for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the discussions. Thank you for being here. And mods, thank you for taking care of business. Very much appreciated correct awesome yay <laughs> peace everyone peace i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab and parlor and we do have a discord page and you're definitely welcome to join our discord channel where you can share information you can come to our twitch page anytime you want type in exclamation mark did I write it out correctly? There it is. Exclamation <laughs> mark social and all those links will pop up, including our Discord link there. And you're definitely welcome to join us there. Cheryl, Cheryl, you've been listening the whole time, eh? Uh, so we'll see, we'll see where the mathematics goes on Discord. And for live streams where we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com as a podcast, and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and Odyssey. For those of you that are supporting this work on those platforms, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is because of the collective support we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing. And I appreciate it very much gang MC Mike when I get some time I'll try to find a way to add my math notes to the discord page for math awesome MC Mike awesome and hopefully by that time I'll figure out how we're gonna go about the math uh, channel we've got a heavy topic light topic we're gonna create a math folder maybe I'll just create it and then we'll just add the folders as they people request it right yeah maybe we'll just do that simple easy peasy aside from that gang if you're around we've got two more live streams set up for the next two days tomorrow night current events wednesday morning we'll read another comic book awesome 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 aside from that i hope you guys have a fantastic monday and i'll see you guys in the next couple of days how did you become remain so remain so fast with the mental arithmetic uh you have always much faster uh just practice just practice um I like stats I like numbers so and sometimes I make mistakes major mistakes right bye everyone have a fantastic Monday always oh, going events <laughs> my pleasure gang my pleasure